Hi everybody, this is Ellen. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make the letter L. <laughs> Lovely. So, um, band-wise it's 156 bands, so not too many. Um, don't forget to kind of change the colors, make them add wrap bands to kind of make it your own with the different designs. But we'll get started. One loom, and we um, start on four and then expand away from us so there'll be enough room if you just kind of start down here and then go up so get to my bands everything will be double banded so two bands I'm going to start on the left over here and bring it long cross over to the right and then take two bands right on top of that and then on these two top pins, we'll do cap bands with two bands wrapped once. Same thing on the other side. Then we'll loom this out. So you go in through your cap band on the right side, because that's the band that's on the bottom. Grab those two bands, pull them up, and pull them back across to the other side. And do the same thing on the other side. That. Now we're going to do nine rows, so um, a little bit of time here, but it's two bands all the way around. Like that. And then we flip the bottom four on all the pins. So that's one row. Mark it out. Another row, same way. And we do that till we have nine. And again, I know I could just kind of tell you that you need to do nine and then skip ahead, but you'll have to make it too, so we'll make it together. But then flip the bottom four once you get the row on. Go ahead and mark it so we know we have two. Then you want to go in here and start pulling up the center over the top of the pin so it doesn't get stuck down there. Another row all the way around. Two bands. I wish the purple bands would keep their color a little better, but as soon as you stretch them, they kind of lose it. Makes me sad. But still purple, so. Another row. Bottom four. Mark it. Another row. And there is a way to count how many rows you've done after we get there, so I'll show you that real quick when we're finished with the nine. Doing the rows and keep flipping the bottom four until you get to the nine.
this is row seven. I should have one more row to go. And you probably should at this point, you can count your rows to see how many, to make sure you're on track. But if you kind of look right here, you have this band that goes across. If you follow that band all the way up to the top, right here is your first one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So then you'll know that you need one more row. Just a little helpful because sometimes if you're doing other things or other things are going on, it's easy to lose track. that's nine. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add some X's on the farther side here just like we did at the beginning. Start with two bands on the left side come over to the right. Two bands right on top and again starting on the left go over to the right And over the top and then one more time left and then right on top then our two end pins right here are going to have the cap bands with the two bands wrapped one time on both sides then we'll loom out our three X's so we'll start over here, because this band is on the bottom. So you go through the cap band, pull those two bands up and back towards themselves, and go on the left side, do the same thing. And you start on the right, because that band's on the bottom. Then come back to the left. And then right and left. Like that. Push the bands down. And then we're going to do three rows all the way around. Two bands. like that. Flip the bottom four, except for when you get to where we have our the top part of our L here. There's going to be eight bands on this section first. And try not to pop the bands off. And then four on the last one. And then the same thing on the other side. Four, 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 and then eight on this one. And then four. Push those down. That's one row all the way around again.
that. And then you'll flip the bottom four all the way around. You can unstick these from the pins in the center. Push the bands down, and then do one more row around with the two bands. that and then flip the bottom four Like that. So now we're ready to close and we're going to do it by the braiding or the weaving. So I'm going to start up here at the top, put my hook in, pull those bands off the pin, then go to the other side, grab those bands, and then pull them through, and come back to the right, grab those bands, pull them through, then go to the left, pull those through and just keep alternating as I go down. And just kind of smush the L back. Uh, as you get closer to the end here, make sure that these ones down here don't pop off because that's where it's most likely to happen. Just take your time. And then lastly, when you get to the last two, you don't want to pull it through into the slip knot. You're just going to leave those on your hook, and then you'll take one or two bands, whatever your preference, pull them through, everything that was on your hook, back on, make that slip knot, and you can pull tight. And then stick your hook up through the side somewhere, come up next to your knot, Grab your tails, hide them. I usually do it until the knot disappears or is flush with the bottom. Kind of depends sometimes how it works out. Snag three bands. Whatever you go to. So like that. And if you have any problems with it curving or anything like that at the base here from either just how we pulled it off the or braided it off the loom, you just take your hook, go in through the bottom, and pull out and loosen up the braiding bands that we did. Because that's usually why it'll curve at the bottom. Just because they're rubber bands, so you might have to pull in your cap bands from that first row. Um, usually they're not too bad. Just take your hook up through, snag them and pull them inside, make them a little tighter. And 
I like that. L. And as you can see here, there is a little bit of difference in the um, the size between these. Like this one looks skinnier than this one, and that is um, just solely because of the band tight. I mean, they're actually both Rainbow Loom bands, um, but I usually um, this is the fuchsia. It seems to be kind of skinnier um, in bands than the purple ones that I've always gotten. So that's why there is a little bit of difference in the size. So band does band type does make a difference. So, but I think they both look good, and I mean realistically, it's the size difference is not super noticeable when they're all. I mean, maybe if you had like my name where I have the L's together, then maybe you notice it a little bit more. But if they're spaced out with a letter in between. You know, you're not really gonna notice it, so actually, dude, ha <laughs> ha. So, I hope you like my L's, they're pretty quick and easy to make. Um, if you make some words out of these or um, just kind of decorate some letters nice, then you can share them with me on my Instagram, which is at Crafting Fantastic, or on my Facebook, which is Feeling Spiffy. And then, of course, it would be awesome if you would subscribe to my channel, so I would appreciate that. But thank you very much for watching. I will definitely have more soon, and happy looming.